Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. Today I want to inspire you. One of the big questions I get is, what can I make with a Cricut cutting machine? So whether you're thinking of getting one or already have one or are looking for ideas, I've got you covered in this video. If even just one of these ideas inspires you to do something for yourself or someone you love, then my mission is complete. So let's chat all about what you can and cannot make with a Cricut. And I mean all the Cricuts. I have the Joy and the Joy Extra, the Explore Air 2, the Explore 3, the Original Maker, the Maker 3, and even a Cricut Venture right here so we can talk about all of them. Now, before I dive in, I just want to welcome all of my Maker Academy weekend crafters and makers. This is a special class I'm doing in preparation for Maker Academy weekend that starts in less than two weeks now. I'm so excited. If this is news to you, you've never heard of Maker Academy weekend before, no worries, everyone is welcome. We'll be using our Cricut cutting machines for many of our awesome craft projects during the weekend. So I wanted to chat about the types of things that they can do and make sure that we're all good to go. Everyone is invited to join us free for Maker Academy weekend. You can get a free ticket at makeracademy.com and I'm gonna put that link up right here. At the bottom of the screen, you see that. I'm also going to mute my YouTube video because I can like hear it in my, in my ear. <laughs> so you can get a free ticket to makeracademy.com to learn over 30 amazing Cricut crafts and have a fun crafty weekend with me, my friends, and currently over 50,000 other crafters who have signed up. And I mentioned it's free, right? Yeah, so come join us. Many of the projects I'm going to show you today are the ones that I'm sharing freely during Maker Academy weekend or my friends are because it's not just me this year. I also have over a dozen crafty friends with me to show you things. Once you get your free ticket, you will get access to the weekend guide, which shows you which of these projects we're going to talk about today. You can cut on the Joy, the Joy Extra, the Explorer, the Maker, or the Venture. It's all on page 12. So if you got this, check page 12. You're gonna find that really useful. If you don't, get your free ticket and your event guide at makeracademy.com. All right, I'll put that away. Make sure I get the right link, there we go. Now, Cricut is a really, really cool machine. It's basically a computer-guided device that precisely cuts, writes, foils, and so much more depending on which model you have. So I want to introduce you to each one really briefly because knowing what they do and how they differ from one another is really important to what we're talking about today, right? All right, so the smallest and least expensive Cricut is the original Cricut Joy, this little cutie, and the Cricut Joy Extra, which is a little bigger and can do a little extra as the name suggests. Both Cricut Joy models are super affordable, portable and take up very little space. They don't look out of place like in a kitchen or living room. And both of the Cricut Joy cutting machines can cut um, just about or just over 50 different types of materials, including cardstock, adhesive vinyl, iron-on vinyl, cardboard, faux leather, acetate, adhesive foil, and window cling. And we're, I'm going to show you examples of almost all of those, probably even more too, because there's more machines, right? Now, the Joys are smaller than the other cutting machines, but you'd be surprised at the huge variety of things that they can do. So I'd rather just talk at you. I'm going to be showing you in this video, so don't worry. But I just want to keep going around. We're going to go around and we're going to look at each one. All right. So those are the Cricut Joy. Who's got a Cricut Joy? Let me know in the comments if you've got a Joy or the Joy Extra. Okay, then we have the Explorers right over here. On top is the Explore Air 2, and on the bottom is the Cricut Explore 3, which is a newer model. The Cricut Explorer was my very first Cricut, which I got back in early 2017, right? 2017, and I know that many others have started with this machine. This is a very popular machine. The Explore is a full-size Cricut that can do everything that the Cricut Joys can do, but it's a larger size, right? That's an easy way to think about it. It can cut a wider variety of materials too, up to 100 different materials, including, in addition to everything I mentioned for the Joy, it also can do some fabrics and wood veneers. 
So let's take a closer look at the Explore Air 2. And this is going to be very hands-on. I'm going to be showing you everything. <laughs> so there'll be lots of moving around. And I'm going to switch my camera so you can see too. There we go. All right, so the Cricut Explore 2 uses, and let's open that up, uh, the basic fine point blade, which is right here. You can see that right there. And it has a smart dial, which is right here, uh, to cut various materials from cardstock to heat transfer vinyl to Cricut infusible ink. The Cricut Explore machines can also use the deep cut blade, which I have right here. This is not possible with the Cricut Joys, so that's significant. Um, so it can use the deep cut blade to cut slightly thicker materials, as well as the bonded fabric blade, which is this pink one right here, uh, which can do, which can cut fabric if it has a bonded backing. It can also use the scoring stylus, which is useful for paper crafts. Uh, and the Explore Family Machines also has the print then cut feature, uh, just like the Cricut Joy does. So that's important to note. So this is the Explore, and this is the Cricut Joy Extra, the Cricut Joy Extra. I might have just said Cricut Joy. These, everything from the Cricut Joy Extra and up can do print then cut. The only Cricut, in fact, that cannot do print then cut is the Cricut Joy. Okay, so that's important to note. Now, the, let me just move these right here so that we don't get confused. One moment. I have lots of machines. <laughs> uh, the Cricut Explore Air uses Bluetooth as well as a USB connection for versatility. So that's important to note. So it can do, it can do everything. All of our Cricuts can do Bluetooth, but the Cricut Explore and up can do USB also. All right, so Let's put this one back and let's talk about the Explore 3. Because I'm sure you're like, well, what's the difference between these two? Hopefully I don't drop anything. <laughs> All right, so this is the Explore 3. And the biggest difference between the Cricut Explore 3 and the Cricut Explore Air 2 is that the Explore 3 can cut smart materials in a long continuous cut without a mat, and it can cut them faster even faster than on the fast mode on the Explore or the Maker. Now, smart materials are materials that you can cut without a mat, and you can cut them on the Explore 3, the Maker 3, the Joy, the Joy Extra, and the Venture, all right? So that is the, that's really the only difference, and I'll be honest, I tend not to recommend the Explore 3 because once you, if you want smart materials, just go for the makers. <laughs> That's, or, or if you need something smaller, go for the joys. Okay. Next, the makers. The makers are very popular. Um, on the top is my original Cricut maker that I got the day it came out. I stood in line at the store to get it. And below is the Cricut Maker 3 which is a newer model. So let me give you a close-up look at the Cricut, the original maker. Many of you have this machine. It's heavier. <laughs> Set this here, give you a good look at it. All right, so the makers are one step up from the Explore family, and they offer the adaptive tool system that out of here. We, we like to keep our cords right in the machine so we don't lose them. A little tip for you. <laughs> this is the adaptive tool system and it allows us to use a variety of different tools. The maker cutting machine can do everything that the Cricut Explorer and the Cricut, well I would say the Cricut Explorer can do as well as use the knife blade. And let me show you a knife blade. Do I have one here? Do I have the engraving tip? Give me a second. Let's see if I've got one to show you. Yes, here we go. So this is the knife blade. Can you see that? There we go. So the knife blade can cut thick materials like balsa wood up to two millimeters deep, and it can use the rotary blade to cut more fragile materials like tissue paper, crepe paper, and fabric. And in the fabric does not need a backing machine. And the biggest difference between the Cricut Explorer and the Cricut Maker is this adaptive tool system that accommodates more and different blades and tools for the maker to use. So the maker can use 13 tools, 
versus just six tools on the Explore. And these extra tools allow for some really intricate cuts on less typical materials that you can't get with the Explore. The makers can cut up to 300 materials while the Explore machines cut up to 100 materials. All right, and then I was gonna say last but not least, but that's not true anymore. So let's put this one back and let me show you the Maker 3. I don't wanna drop anything. There we go, this is the Maker 3. Uh, the Maker 3 can do everything. Let me give you a closer look. Uh, it, the, the Cricut Maker 3 can do everything that the original Maker can do, but it does it faster, longer, and if you're using smart materials, it does it without a mat. So it uses all the same blades, tools, and cutting machines that the original Maker uses, and it can cut all of the same materials, including heat transfer vinyl, cardstock, faux leather, adhesive foil, and heavier materials like balsa wood, chipboard, and smart materials. So that, this is, I consider this still to be the flagship of the crickets. If you're looking for the best cricket, which of course is really subjective, this is, the Cricut Maker 3 is basically it. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Cricut Venture. I told you I got all of my machines out. This is a 25 inch large format professional cutting machine. It can cut all of the same materials as the Cricut Explore machines do. It just does it bigger, a lot bigger and faster, right? And you'll note that size is a big difference between all of these machines. I keep referencing size and it's really important and it really affects what projects you can do. So let's compare the size capabilities of each machine by taking a look at their machine mats. And I'm gonna push this off to the side and have a seat. And we're also gonna start looking at projects too. Thank you for going through all of the crickets with me. I think it's important so we understand what each one is. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to my overhead view. There we go. It's kind of big. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's move some things over so it's not quite so crowded. Here we go. <laughs> All righty, so we're missing a couple mats, but let's go in order. So Cricut Joy is really quite small. This is, the mat is four and a half, this one, the small one, four and a half by six but you can get mats that go up to 12 inches, okay? So the Cricut, and this is the original Cricut Joy, so this determines the size of projects you can make, but you'd be surprised, you can actually do quite a bit. And I'm gonna give you some examples of what you can do. So Cricut Joy, okay? The Cricut Joy Extra is right here. You can see it gets quite a bit larger. This is eight and a half by 12 inches. Uh, so it's, then the, again, this is the Cricut Joy extra right here. This is a newer Cricut. So this is a really, really cool machine. Very popular. I anticipate lots of people will be getting that machine. So it can do really quite big. It can't go as big as 12 by 12 inches, but you know, this is awesome, right? And then to what I consider to be the full size Cricuts, the 12 by 12 inch mat, and you can actually do 12 by 24 inch too. They have mats for that. So this is for the explorers and the makers right? So you can do full size projects with this. Most of my projects tend to be oriented towards this, uh, this size mat because most of you have this machine, right? And I do too. And that's where I started, right? So that makes sense. So again, you can do this 12 by 12 and 12 by 24, but you can see the size differences and you can see how it will Im impact what you can make. And then the Cricut Venture, and I have its mat here so you can see. <laughs> This is the Cricut Ventures mat. So it is huge compared to the others, right? Let's bring them out so you can see. And it can do big, big projects. Now remember the Cricut Venture is very similar to the Cricut Explore 3, but bigger and faster. That's the easiest way to think about it. So, so there's a size difference, right? So this, you can make things smaller. 
to fit your mats. You can make them bigger and really take advantage. But keep in mind too that just because you have a bigger, you know, the bigger mat, you don't have to go bigger. You can always go with whatever size you want. And if you have a joy or a joy extra and you're, you know, you think that might limit you, yes, it might limit you for some things, but you'd be surprised at what you can do even with the smaller sizes. And I'll give you examples. So the big thing that the crickets can do is cut out amazing things that would be really hard, if not impossible, to cut ourselves, like with scissors or a craft knife, right? Um, and well, and still have it look good. <laughs> and truly understanding what that means and what it enables you to do would be meaningless without looking at some real projects. I mean, I think I first heard of a cricket years and years ago, but I thought it was for scrapbookers which is not something I'm any good at. So I disregarded it and I didn't think it was for me. And that's only because I was thinking too small and I had no one to show you, to show me the other things that it could do. And that's my, that's my purpose today. So let's talk about some of the materials that the Cricut, and we're gonna start with the Cricut Joy, and that it can cut. So we're gonna go from the Joy to the Explore, to the Maker, and the Adventure will be in there somewhere as we go along. And uh, some of the really cool things that you can make and do as a result, okay? And we're gonna begin in the very first place. I think everyone should begin personally, and that's with cardstock. Cardstock is easy to get inexpensive and really pretty forgiving. So if you are a beginner, cardstock is your best first project. Let's set these down here so they're not in our way. All right, so all of the crickets can cut cardstocks, can cut cardstock projects. So let me show you some examples that you can do in the joy and we'll go from there. And, and I'm gonna switch my overhead and I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see things a little bit better now that we don't have to look at the, the big map. There we go, okay. So this is my light up angel. That you, This is the Joy version, and I'm gonna light it up so you can see. This is made on the Joy. Isn't this beautiful? So you can see it's small, it's small-ish, and you can make it at this size on any of the crickets, including the Joy. And this is the full size version of it right here, right? Let me turn on its light. So this is made from just cardstock. Is it light burned out? That happens. I think it's lights burned out and I didn't check it. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay because it's still beautiful. These both actually, they're just cardstock and some foam dots. They can sit up like this. You can see the little foam dots in there and you can make this on any Cricut. Uh, they're so, they're actually not as hard as you might think. They're beautiful and they're fun. So this is an example of a cardstock project. Here is an example. Also can be made on the Cricut Joy and all of the other Cricuts. This is a candy holder. It's got two layers of cardstock and really, really very easy. If you're a beginner, this would be a wonderful project to begin with. This is a Maker Academy weekend project, in fact. So Maker Academy weekend um, has all sorts of um, awesome projects. And I also want to note that all everything I'm showing you is either in my library already or will be for Maker Academy weekend and free. My library, by the way, is at, there we go, jennifermaker.com slash library. So everything I'm showing you, you can make everything. Okay. So, and another example of a cardstock project. This is a napkin holder. Isn't that pretty? Again, two layers and really easy, really easy. Not even very intricate cuts. This is fun, don't you think? Yeah, so easy, so you can make them. And the, the cool thing about any cardstock project is you get to pick all the colors, you get to pick the finishes, all of that. Now that's everything I just showed you, other than the big angel, can be done on the Cricut Joys, the Joy Extra, and every other machine as well. But let's go into some bigger projects so you can see as we move up what it would look like. So here is a project done on the Explore, Maker, or Venture. This is a layered cardstock project, and it says Autumn, but you know, we're, I actually teach you how to put any word you want here, and it's layers of cardstock. Isn't it pretty? Let me give you a closer look at this. 
So uh, you get to pick the word that's here. I also have things like, you know, autumn and and uh, fall and stuff so that you can choose them if you want. Isn't this? But so you, you can see how it's just layers of cardstock. And the Cricut does such a great job of cutting them. It's just amazing <laughs> that we could make these things without having to be artists or really skilled ourselves because we have these um, this amazing machine. So that's, a, we call these shadow boxes, right? So cardstock shadow box. And this is, you know, cardstock you can buy on Amazon or you can buy at craft stores. It's not like construction paper. It's called cardstock. And it's not, cardstock is like a heavier paper. It comes in all sorts of colors and then cool stuff like that. And something, another project that we can do is, this is also layered. It's also a shadow box, but it's an ornament. And you can hang it, put it on a tree, wherever you might want. You can see it's got an uh, LED light in it as well. It's kind of, it's very bright in here, but you can see, and you can make this. There's a smaller version that you can make on a Joy's. This is the standard size version. Many projects can be sized down to fit on a Joy, or you can do things to make them fit. This one would be a little tough, not impossible though. You would just have a, a join right here, right? But it is possible. So many things you could do on the Joy. It just takes a little extra work if you want the larger version. All right, and then you can get even larger. You, you can. So let me show you what I mean. This is a project that is coming up soon on my channel and my blog. It is not part of Maker Academy Weekend, but it is very cool. So this is another shadow box. This is our stained glass project, and this was cut on the Venture. So the, um, just imagine the amazing things that you can do when you can cut even bigger. Isn't this awesome? Do you like it? It's cool, isn't it? So this is an upcoming project and it's all just cardstock. And you know, we like to, you can see how it's got depth to it, right? And when it's just, you know, adhesive foam, you can see on the side there, right? So very cool. So all the way from, we'll put this on this side, small things, to big things, right? And everything in between. All right, so that's cardstock. I will pause and see if anyone has a question about cardstock while I get out our next set of projects. Because, and I have so many, I have hundreds of projects. Uh, like I have, I literally have over there is a storeroom. It's quite large. I think, I think the storeroom itself, I would say is probably around 2,000 square feet. <laughs> we save all of our projects so that I can do things like this and bring them out and show you. All right. Is that a new star ornament? No, this, well, it depends on when you say new. This star ornament that you see right here, this is for Maker Academy Weekend 2023. And so this project will appear in our library on November 1st, 2023. So depending on when you're watching this video, it's either there now or not there. Remember, you can get a ticket for Maker Academy Weekend and be notified of those new, new designs and come to my, my kickoff party, which is when we'll release them um, by getting a free ticket. So has everyone got their free tickets? I'm gonna put that up on the screen right now. Let me know in the chat if you have your free ticket because Maker Academy Weekend is one of the best ways to learn what you can do on your Cricut. We're gonna, there's it's full of workshops. We tell you exactly which machines you can do various projects on, what you need to resize things to work with, all of that. Got your ticket? Awesome. <laughs> and this is a very, this is, I would say that right now, this is probably our most popular project in Maker Academy Weekend. It's a lot of fun to make. All right, so our next category of projects, I'll put this one away. Thank you all for getting your tickets, I appreciate that. Okay, the next category of project is adhesive vinyl. All of the crickets, let's put this over here. All the crickets can cut adhesive vinyl. And I have an example right over here to show you what that might mean. So adhesive vinyl is sticky vinyl. And I didn't even know what it was before I started doing Cricut. I'm like, vinyl, what's that? So this is a great example of a project with adhesive vinyl. And this has got permanent vinyl on it. You can also get removable vinyl for like your walls. I have a removable vinyl sticker behind my, my dream box here. And uh, this is also a great example of sizing. So you see how we've got, and then 
all of these white, let me switch the camera over here. So over here, we've got all of the white vinyl, right? And then we've got the Let It Snow. This, this is all vinyl right here. And by the way, this is a um, $1 charger from Dollar Tree. <laughs> so nice, affordable project. Um, it's supposed to be like a charger plate, right? But we made it into a sign. Um, so while this might look like it's too big to cut on the Joy, right? And you might say, oh, if I want to make these projects, I would need a larger Cricut. The truth is because it's individual words, you can actually cut out Let It and you can cut out Snow and your snowflakes and you can place them all on. And you can do that all on the original Joy. So this machine right here can make this. And there's really a lot of projects that you can do that are like that. It requires a little out of the box thinking. I do often try to explain that in my tutorials or let you know if you can resize it. But in this case, you would just do them individually and then place them together. So this is an example of adhesive vinyl. Let me give you another example. This is an older project, but one that I love. So it's just a ceramic mug that I found at Target or something like that. And I put a cute little face on there with adhesive vinyl, like five years ago. <laughs> so it may, you know, vinyl is not permanent, 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 like forever. You know, like if I ran this to the dishwasher a whole bunch or like, you know, really brushed up against it, it might start to fray a little bit, you know, or peel off a little bit. But generally speaking, with regular handling, it will last a really long time. So that's a, a great example of that. Okay. So that's adhesive vinyl. And again, you can do adhesive vinyl projects on all of the crickets, all of them, right? And you can cut on the mat or you can cut on smart materials. Either way is totally fine, right? But so smart materials, again, are the ones that you don't need a mat for. So that's these two. And the um, Explore 3 and the Maker 3 and the Venture. The only ones that can't use smart materials without a mat are the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and anything that's earlier and the original maker, but you can buy it and put it on a mat. So you can still cut it, you just can't cut it without a mat. All right, so in addition to adhesive vinyl, another kind of vinyl that you can cut on all the Cricuts is iron-on vinyl. So with iron-on vinyl, you cut it the same way and then you, uh, you know, you weed off the extra and you apply it with heat and heat is what makes it stick. So let me give you some examples of that. Set this aside. One moment. Sorry for my awkwardness. Hopefully it doesn't fall. There we go. Okay. So yes, let me show you these. This is a, this is a Maker Academy weekend project. So these are good to show you. All right, let's start with these because they're also joy friendly. But again, anything you can do on the Joy, you can do on the larger machines. So these are cute little ornaments. So this is what iron-on vinyl looks like. So really easy. You just cut it out and apply it with a household iron or a heat press, but you can start with a household iron. And aren't these cute? So these, uh, we have all these designs and many more in uh, Maker Academy weekend, free for everybody. Another example of iron on vinyl is things like pillows and of course t-shirts. So the cool, the, diff the big difference is that you want to use iron on vinyl on fabrics typically. There's exceptions, but, and it's very flexible, right? And wearable and, uh, you know, washable. That's a, probably a big difference, right? You don't really throw anything with adhesive vinyl into the washing machine, but you totally can when you have iron-on vinyl, right? So tote bags and all that too. <laughs> Georgette says, I love those. I bought the items for this project. I know, aren't they cute? In fact, let, since we're talking about a lot of Maker Academy weekend projects in this video, I want to put a link up on the screen. There we go. Oops, that's not it. Sorry, it's this one, it's the one below it. There we go. So this link that you see here, link.jennifermaker.com slash Amazon slash weekend dash supplies, that takes you to an Amazon page that has 
a, a shopping list for every single project. So if you're looking, if you're like, oh my gosh, like what size are those? You don't have to guess. You can just actually go there and see exactly what we're using for everything that we're making. So it's a great spot to go look for anything you need, you need as that, that I'm showing you. And then, in fact, generally speaking, everything I'm showing you, unless it's new and not out yet, like our stained glass shadow boxes, is on my blog at jennifermaker.com. And there's to, you know material lists for everything, tutorials, files, all of the things that you might need. All right, so that's a lot of cutting things. So another thing that I wanna make sure everyone knows that you can cut, and we're still working on the joy. So everything I've showed you is joy, as well as everything else, right? Okay, so another thing at the joys and all the other crickets can cut is faux leather. So let's bring over some examples. I'm gonna, I'll put away that little link there. There we go. All right, earrings. <laughs> so this is a Maker Academy weekend project too. You can use faux leather for many, many things. This is a popular thing to use it for is earrings. So we're teaching you how to make earrings. But also many other tutorials on faux leather earrings and wallets and hair bows, all sorts of things, all of which are you can make on the Cricut Joy. Typically, as long as it fits on that mat, you can use it. And, you know, if you can go bigger, but I find that faux leather projects tend to be smaller anyways. They do. So those are our earrings, lots of styles. And these are just the styles for Maker Academy Weekend. There's actually many, many more. And of course, you can always design your own things. Okay, that is faux leather. So I think that is everything that you can cut with the Cricut Joy. There are other things that we can cut with the other machines. I might be forgetting some, oh, there's one thing I wanted to tell you about actually, stencils. So you can make awesome stencils with all of the crickets. Let me give you some examples and show you, here we go. This is slate. <laughs> so you could make stencils for painting and etching. And this project here uh, is a great example. And this is slate. Let me give you a closer look. So this is a Maker Academy weekend project. And it, this is a piece of slate. It's a slate coaster that we got from Amazon. And you can see that we have etched it. So we're teaching you how to do that. And I want you to see what a stencil looks like. So it makes sense. So this is a piece of adhesive vinyl. And we have cut it out on, you can make this on the Cricut Joy, all of the crickets. And then what you do is you place this onto your piece of slate and you use etching cream, which we explain how to do. But so stencils are great for etching and painting. And those are the two, I'm trying to think of that's it. You could also use them for wood burning. <laughs> we have a tutorial on that as well. So that's another great example. All of these projects I mentioned, I wish I could show you every single thing I have but we would literally be here all day if I pulled out each project. Maybe one day I'll do that. Everyone might hate me if I do that. <laughs> it would be a lot of projects. You'd also be waiting a lot for me to go back and get it and bring it out because there's no way it's all going to fit here. <laughs> all right, so stencils are an awesome thing that you can do with the Cricut. All of the Cricuts can do that because they can all cut adhesive vinyl, right? All the Cricuts can. Now, you are limited in size. But if you cut, you know, a let's, let's say you want to do a bigger project and you have the Cricut Joy, as long as it's not a huge area, right, that you need to, to do and it's all you know, continuous, you could, you know, place the pieces where you want, fill it in with the vinyl but so that you don't get your etching cream or your paint anywhere else, and then go to town. So you can do a lot even with the smaller ones. And I see a comment from my team, thank you, uh, the, about this video. So when this, when I'm done recording today, when I'm done doing our class, you'll be able to rewatch this as much as you want. And what I'll actually do is um, edit out like the beginning five minutes. No one needs to listen to me. <laughs> or no, no one wants to see five minutes of a screen saying it's going to start in five minutes. Or, you know, some I'll, like there'll be something that was confusing or, or whatever. I'll edit out little bits. It'll stay right on YouTube and you can watch it at any time. 
for indefinitely. It doesn't go anywhere. This stays here for you and for your friends who are thinking about a cricket or thinking about getting another cricket. So rest, you know, if you have to go or anything or you, or you missed the beginning, all of this, you can watch all of it as many times as you want. Okay. You are welcome, Dale. Okay, so yes, stencils. And I think, and I'm sure I'm going to forget something. This is a very big topic. I will admit I was a little overwhelmed. Like, how do I cover all of it? But I'm doing my best. <laughs> all right, so that's mostly everything can cut. You can do some more things like acetate. Actually, let me give you an acetate example because you can cut that on a joy too. This is super cool. This is a little faux terrarium. Let me show you how cute this is. Do you see this? You can cut this and it's got acetate windows. So acetate is a very thin plastic. It's not like that super thick stuff. We don't cut that on the Cricut. <laughs> we don't cut thick acid, you know, like thick plastic on any of the Cricuts, none of them. But this thin this thin, so you can see how it's flexible. That thin stuff we can totally do and we can do this on all of the crickets. And this is a little faux terrarium with little faux succulents in it. It's, I guess we call it real terrarium. I mean, I don't think we want to put a, actual plants in there, but we can put fig plants in there. And there's different shapes. And this is the Maker Academy Weekend Project. Isn't it cute? I think these would make beautiful gifts or home decor. So many things that we create on the cricket are for gifts or decorating or our wearables. Those are the, I feel like those are the three main categories of things that we do. Um, a fourth category might be for organization, right? And yeah, okay, so let's set that right here because it's so cute. All right, so that's most of what we can cut on the Joy, but the Joy can do a couple other things that just like all of the other machines can do. So I want to cover those before we get into some more unusual projects. So, one of the things that all of the machines can do is foiling. So it, the crickets have a special tool called the foil tool, foil transfer tool, and it can make these really pretty metallic designs. Let me give you some examples. And some examples are for the Cricut Joy and some are for larger. Okay, so let's start with the Joy projects. So these are gift tags. In fact, I'm gonna stand up so you can see how, let's see, get there, so you can see how they're kind of shiny. So these are all foiled, right? And you could of course just do these with a marker or two, and we're gonna get to that, but you can also foil, right? So isn't that pretty? Very, very classy. And these are made on the Joy or any of the other crickets. Something else you can do is this type of foiling. Now this was foiled on the Cricut Explore or the Maker, I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> uh, they would all do that. Um, you can actually make just one of these and have it fit on a joy though, so you know. Isn't this pretty? This is another example, here's one you would only be able to do on the Explore and Maker. Isn't that gorgeous? This is a project from last year's Maker Academy Weekend. And all of the projects I do for Maker Academy Weekend, they stay in my library. So here is the link to my library. Um, the files in there are free for everyone to use. So as we, as we, you know, we have special events and we create files for them and we release them when the event starts and they stay in the library for you to use. So yeah, so that's foiling. Foiling is really cool. Uh, and you can buy the foil transfer sheets. Then this is, and this is cardstock. So it can cut and foil too. And you can do that at the same time, which is pretty cool, right? And I have many tutorials on foiling. If it seems confusing, I just want you to know that it's totally possible and totally possible on all of the machines. All right, and then one more thing that the Cricut Explore, oh sorry, the Cricut Joys can do, um, both of them and all of the other Cricuts is use pens and markers. A lot of people don't realize that you can put a pen into your Cricut. Let me give you an example. I think I've got my, one of my pens is around here somewhere. I was just using it, not with my Cricut. There we go. I just, I just grab them and just start using them. Okay, let me show you. So here is, I'm gonna put away my little, 
little face picture because you're literally just looking at my bun and that's just weird. There we go. <laughs> All right, so here is the Cricut Joy. I pointed at the camera. There we go. Got a re weird reflection on it. There we go. That looks better. Um, so this right here is where the blade is. And if we open that up, it actually comes out, right? And we can switch it with another tool, which would, in this case, there's two options. One is the foil transfer tool and the other is a pen. So this is a Cricut Joy pen. And the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Joy Extra, which again is right here. I'll bring this out too so you can see it. Put this back here. So them side by side. And we have a nice view of the two of them. There we go. And I'll open up this one too. There. And you can see how the, this part is really the same on both of them. So the pen and the Joy pens, and it says Cricut Joy on it right there. The Joy pens and markers fit in the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Joy Extra only. Okay. But the Explorer, the Maker, and the Venture, they have their own sets of pens. So the Cricut Joy is compatible with both of these, right? And the Explore Maker is compatible. Everything that you can use on the Explorer, you can also use on the Maker and Venture. Some people get confused by that. So I just wanna call your attention to this right now. And you just take off the top and you just put it right in there and you close the clamp. But they both fit, right? These blades are identical. Where's my blade? I've lost my blade. There it is. <laughs> these are interchangeable between these two. Okay, so if you have one, they both work. So we'll put that back in there and close the clamp. So with pens and markers, you can make cards and labels and just a lot of really cool stuff. It's very neat because if you, it's not just about whether you have good handwriting or not. It just, you can have it draw pictures and stuff. So let me show you. Um, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you some small ones. Then I'm going to show you a big one. We'll have to go off camera to get that. Okay, so this here is an example of, and these are labels for organizing, but you can use them for anything. So the pen wrote these, right? Again, Joy, Extra, Explore, Maker, or Venture. They can all use pens and markers and little cute little tags, right? So you could foil this, but this was done with a marker and more labels. You could do all sorts of things, cards, really have many, many projects that use a pen. And let me show you another thing too. And I'll have to go off camera for this one. Just right over here, it's on my wall, but I want you to see, um, that even the Cricut Venture can use pens. This is just a big flower. My wall over there is covered with flowers that my team and I cut out to decorate the wall. So it's just big paper flowers, really easy. This is a super easy project. It's just a cut and a draw with a marker and that's it. And I was stuck my name in there. So all of the Cricuts can use pens and markers and the pens and markers come in so many different varieties. So there's fine tips. There's big chunky tips, there's permanent, there's watercolor, watercolor, this. You can do this. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is, was drawn on a Cricut and then filled in with a water pen by hand. I have a tutorial for it, it's very popular. Let me give you a closer look at this. So the Cricut does the outlining and some coloring with its mar watercolor marker. So it's a special marker. You can get it for both the joys and all of the, you know, the Explore Maker and Venture. And then you come along with a, the water pen that comes in the, the, the kit and you, it's, it's almost like, you know, adult coloring or something. You just use the water brush and you spread the color around and you get gorgeous results like this. Isn't that cool? So you can watercolor with your Cricut too. <laughs> Uh, we actually have many designs. I think we have like 12 different designs at this point. We started with birds and then we did, I'm trying to remember, we had, we just did some autumn ones and we have some plants coming up in December. So really quite a few. We have so many things out at some point. Okay. 
And I'm sure I'm missing something because the joy can really do a lot, but I think I mostly covered it. So I also now want to move into the next thing that the original joy cannot do, but all the other crickets can do, and that's print then cut. So with the Cricut Joy Extra, the Explorers, the Makers, and the Venture, we can do print then cut. And if you don't know what that is, that is essentially, um, and you can't print from it. And I think that's really confusing. The Cricut is not a printer. <laughs> it's not, it might kind of look like it, you know, it's a machine, you plug it in, it could print, you know, maybe you could print. You know, I, I think that all of us at one point have thought, can it print? But it can't print. You can, you can put the pens and markers in there and it kind of feels like it's printing, but it's not. It's not like an inkjet or a laser printer. Um, but what it does have is a feature called Print Then Cut, which allows you to print on your inkjet printer and then put it into your Cricut and there will be special registration marks on it and then it can cut it out. Okay, so let me give you some examples of that. First, some stickers. That is the probably the biggest thing that people will use print and cut for are stickers. So this is another Maker Academy weekend project. There's stickers on the tumbler, and here is a close-up of the stickers right here. So super cute, and you can see that it's cut out the area to um to do it right. So you could cut them by hand, of course, but then you get, if you cut, if you give your Cricut cut it, you get all these cool shapes and stuff. And so, so importantly, the Cricut Joy, the original Cricut Joy cannot do print then cut. There are uh, some tricks and ways to get around it, but generally speaking, no scent, no, no look, there's a no, little camera in here. There's actually, the other Cricuts have like a little sensor underneath here which you can't really see, but there is a little sensor. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it up so maybe you can see it. There's a little sensor under here that can like read, you know, the registration marks and cut things out. It's missing, it's not present on the Joy to keep it affordable, but it is present on the Extra, all of the Explorers, all of the Makers and the Venture. So again, I'm gonna bring that Venture out because it doesn't get enough light and show you a, a um, print and then cut project. So again, this is the Venture. This is the 25 inch cutter that it can do everything that the Explorers can do, right? But bigger, much bigger. So for example, this is a print and then cut image that I did on my Venture. Oops, got a little, it's one of my, I'm just trying to pull this out so you can see. <laughs> Those matte covers. <laughs> so I have a I have a large format printer, right? And so I printed it out, put it onto my mat, and it has a print then cut sensor and it was able to cut this out. I keep this one on the mat to show you. <laughs> Cause I, I it looks awesome here on the mat. So so all again, all of the cr crickets except the Cricut Joy, the original Cricut Joy, the blue and white one, can do print and cut. So let's put this back here because it's, it's large and I want you to see all the awesome projects. Okay, do I have other print and cut projects here? I do, I have another one here. Let me show you this one. So cards are often a big reason that people will get a Cricut, they wanna make cards. So let me show you this cool card that's a print and cut card. It's called an infinity card. You don't have to do anything this fancy, but this is a cool card. All right. And this is part of Maker Academy Weekend. We show you how to do this card. Isn't this awesome? So it has uh, all these different ways to open and close it. Isn't this cool? And so let me show you here. All right, there we go. So. Merry little everything. These are my dogs. This is Hunter and this is Chloe. And then it opens up to the, a picture. This is Greg and I. And then it opens up again to a picture of Greg, uh, Greg and I and my daughter, a baby, and as a teenager. Isn't this cool? So we show you how to make this. So, and this is all done with print and cut. It's cool. <laughs> Thank you. All right. 
So I, I'm, yes. So I think that that is, um, that's print then cut. So now I'd like to show you some projects that you can do on the explorers, not the joys. So explorers, makers, and ventures. So we're kind of going along the line. So one of the things that you can make or cut, make and do is fabric projects. So let me give you an example of a fabric project. This is a bowl cozy. You can cut the fabric on a Cricut. You totally can. I have cut many things on my Cricuts. Um, on the Explorers, you'll need to bond it first, which means like to put a piece of heat and bond on it, and then you can put it on your mat. But if you're, and that would be true with the Venture as well. On the Makers, however, you can use the rotary blade, which is really amazing. And it's just like a little teeny tiny rotary blade, and it does an awesome job of cutting. So, we need the, Look at this. So this is the bowl cozy. It's reversible. And the cool thing about cutting the fabric on your Cricut is that it gets, it cuts perfectly and exactly, right? So, you know, and it's really good for anything that's got particular sizing that you need to get just right. So something like this, you can cut it by hand, of course, um, or appliques, right? Where it might be tricky to get that design cut just right, but with the Cricut, no problem at all. Like really fine details and stuff. Isn't this cool? So um, something I wanna note about this one is that this is a, a bowl cozy. So we put it into like, here. this is what, you know, here's a bowl. There's some lemon heads in it. <laughs> uh, there's actually three different sizes in our design file, but um, this is the small one. Um, but they're made so that you can put these into the microwave and then you can take them out and you don't burn your hands, right? So that's it's like a pot holder. We call it a bowl cozy. Now, we use all natural materials when we make these. Um, so that means cotton, material cotton threads. Polyesters in the microwave are a no-no. And that's important because you can cut this, um, this cotton fabric on all the explorers, the makers, and the venture. But we're using a cotton batting on the inside um, to you know, retain heat and protect your hands. That you wouldn't want to cut on the maker. So this is a good example of the difference between the two. And the reason that you would want to cut the batting on the maker is because it's thicker and you need the rotary blade for it. So you could still make these with your Explorer, but you wouldn't cut the batting on your Explorer, just the, just the thinner fabric pieces. If you have an Explorer, you, you can cut all of the things on your Cricut. So uh, that's important so that you understand because you can cut fabric on the Explorer, but not all fabric. Um, whereas the maker can really cut a lot of things, a lot of fabrics because of the rotary blade, which is not available on the Explorer. And remember I showed you that adaptive tool system, it just won't fit on the Explorer. The, the Explorer has a different um, amount of pressure that it, and then it, so it, it drags the blade across it Whereas with the maker, the maker can actually turn itself and apply different amounts of pressure as it's working to use more advanced tools. That's the easiest way to explain it. So you can't just like get it and stick it in there and say, oh, it'll work. It just won't fit. There's actually a gear. And let me give you an example of, and this is um, a different tip, but that's okay. So the maker tools have this gear at the top. And so there's no way to fit this gear into the Explorer or the Ventures or the Cricut Choice, right? So this is maker only tools if you see this gear, okay? All right, so fabric. So another thing that we can cut on the Explorers that's different from the Joys is veneers. So we can cut wood veneers. Let me give you a minute. Let me put these back, put some of these projects back, not just leave them all out. Put that one here. All right, so the, yes, they're over here. Wood veneer. So ven wood veneers are very thin uh, wood. Let me show you what this looks like. Let's make some more space too here. Okay. 
these are wood veneer bookmarks. Here is a dolphin, right? And you can see this is real wood, but you can see it's really quite thin. But you can cut this on the Explore, the Maker, and the Venture, but not on the Joy, or at least I haven't been successful at doing it. So really cute little bookmarks, right? So a lot of people, you know, might think that they can't cut wood on the Explore, but you can cut, I guess this one doesn't have a backing. Let's move that one out of there. <laughs> There you go. And then this one says read. Isn't that cute? So you can cut wood veneer. And I have another project, but I don't have it out right now. I, I have many, many projects. I wish I could just sn the snap of my fingers show you all of them. But I did a shadow box where I use wood veneer instead of paper and it's gorgeous. So, and wood veneer is more flexible than let's say a regular piece of wood. I can bend this slightly right? But you can make the most gorgeous uh, projects. And again, this is Explore, Maker, and Venture. Okay. And let's see, um, wood in general, like that is the, like, you know, I have, I have managed with some patience to cut balsa wood on my Explore, but it was kind of hard and kind of a mess. If you want to cut balsa wood or basswood, you would want the maker. But even then it, there's still limitations, right? There's, there's, it's, I would, if you want to cut wood, I would not steer you towards any of the crickets. Actually, I would steer you towards a laser cutter, but that is a totally different video. But I do want to mention that if you're interested in cutting wood, you might not be really satisfied with a cricket. It's just, takes a long time and it's a little bit messy and there's limitations to how fine your detail can be just so that you know. So I think that's important, but you still, what you can do, you can do things. I have a variety of projects on my blog. If you want to see what is possible. All right. And then, okay. So more maker tools, um, the embossing tools, wait, so if I finished everything for the Explorer, I feel like there was something else. Let me check my veneers fabrics. Yes. All right. I, th I think that's explore. So let's move on to maker tools. Okay. And let's talk about the debossing tool. Okay. The debossing tool. So that's one of the tools that you can get with the little gear on top. And so the, the maker has a variety of, t of tools and one is the debossing tool. With that, you can make projects like this. So yes, this is metal. And yes, it was cut on the Cricut and it was debossed to give it this gorgeous veining look on the leaves. So here is the overhead of that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is made on the Cricut maker. So this is thin gauge metal, right? You can hear it. It's what it looks like on the side and uh, it's copper plated. It's not actually copper, but you, we were also able to cut copper, but we found this actually looked best, this metal. And I think it's gorgeous. Don't you? <laughs> I love this wreath, especially this time of the year. It's the perfect time of the year for this wreath. So, and this uses the debossing tool to get this shape um, on the leaves. Another example of the debossing tool on the Cricut makers is one of our purses. I'm going to hold this up so you can see that detail. So isn't that pretty? So uh, you can do a lot of really neat things and debossing pushes down, you know, into the paper. So it's not the, quite the same as embossing, but if you were to deboss something and flip it over, sometimes you can get a similar effect. It depends on the, you know, how thick your material is though. So that's really pretty. And all, again, all of these projects are on my blog or will be. <laughs> Either they are or they will be. So that's debossing and you need a tool. And I think it, I have the tool here. Um, I don't have it. I don't have it here. Oh, I have it over there in my little thing, but so it's a separate tool. It doesn't come with the Cricut maker. So you'd have to order it or go to the store to get it separate. Something else you can do on the Cricut maker is engraving. And I'm going to show you examples of that. I have some keychains and some night lights here. And we're going to get, going to get further and further away. <laughs> I tried to set some things out over here. Um, all right. So these are beautiful engraved night lights. Now, again, this is maker only. So original maker and maker three. 
So let's start with the keychains. I'm gonna hold these up so you can see this amazing detail. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? It's another one. So they're all kind of stuck together. But the Cricut, let me get that to show there. There we go. The Cricut maker did this. Another, and these are lots of keychains here. Also, and here is an acrylic disc that engraved, and I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna put it into its base so you can see how awesome this is. You see that? I don't want it to fall out. This is a nightlight, and it engraved this, right? So again, the makers made this. And we have many engraving projects too, and it's, they're all ready to go. This, I do want to note that the makers are limited to materials that they have to fit underneath their assembly, right? So two millimeters or thinner. So you, you know, you can buy, if you go to Amazon or someplace else, they will sell these in many, much thicker, right? So you need to look for ones that are two millimeters or less, 1.5 millimeters, that sort of thing, in order to actually have them fit underneath your assembly and engrave properly and not like leave a bunch of weird things. So, but, but still, I love this fox. Look how cute he is. Isn't that awesome? So I love engraving. It does take a little time but the results are beautiful. Okay, that's engraving. Uh, knife blade is another one of the tools. I'm trying to turn off my light here. I guess it's gonna stay on. We'll just let it, we'll let it sit over here. We'll put one of our lights in here. There we go, we'll put a little fox in here. See, isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, let's talk about the knife tool. I have a project, again, this is maker only, and I wanna show you. So the knife tool is what we use when we want to cut thick, thick materials. And again, what thick is relative, right? Two millimeters or even less, like more like 1.5 millimeters or less. So you can't cut all the wood that's that thin. You can cut, like you can't cut plywood, it's not going to work, but you can cut basswood, balsa wood, chip wood, Thick leather, right, so this is a leather notebook that I made. Isn't it cute? Did the scalloped edge, cut the whole thing out, scalloped edging and this design here. And this is a sign, it's a home sign with interchangeable icons like this, right? And you can put different ones on for different months, right? And these are made out of, I think we made them out of chip, no, this is basswood. I'm looking at it, I can see the wood grain. This is this project is two or three years old. <laughs> and uh, so we cut these and then painted them. Aren't they cute? Let me show you a close up look so you can see what this looks like. So we did not cut this, this frame here. That would be much too thick for the maker, but we did cut out the letters that you can see here. And all of these individual little icons that you can put in. So you can keep this home sign out all the time and then you can just switch it out. So just switch it out like this. Isn't that cool? It's got a little piece of Velcro on the back. <laughs> all right, so yeah, the Maker is does the most of all of the machines. And then the Maker 3 does even more because it can do smart material a little faster. So if you're looking for the top of the line, the flagship Cricut, it's the Cricut Maker 3. But I find that a lot of people start with a smaller or less expensive Cricut, like the Joy, or the Cricut Explore Air 2. That's the darker blue one at the top because they're really affordable. You can find them often, you know, good prices on them. And it's a way to see if this is something that you're gonna use because I will never, ever, ever tell you to get something that you're not actually going to use to make awesome things with. All right, and then I want to show you something else. This is a little unorthodox, but I want you to know this. And I did see a mention about it in the chat, so this is relevant. So a lot of people think, oh, the maker can do wood. It could do something, you know, I can cut all the wood projects out if it's thin enough. So this is not a maker project. <laughs> uh, this is a laser cutting project. Uh, it's just too fine for the maker to cut. 
the, um, oh, I'll give you a overhead look at it so you can see what I mean. So it's just, it's really cool, right? And it certainly would be thin enough, probably. Um, I think this is a plywood, but maybe not. I don't remember what we made this out of. I think Greg made this. We have many laser cutters, um, but this is not a project that you'd want to do on a maker because of the intricate cutting here, right? It would just, it would take, first of all, a very long time with a knife blade and it would just, it, it's too intricate to, and it, pieces would break off and it just wouldn't work. You, for something like this, you want a laser cutter. And I wanted to mention that because we're talking about all the things that that Cricut can do. There are things it can't do, right? It can't cut wood this intricate. It can cut cardstock and vinyl this intricate, but not wood. You would want a laser cutter if you want something like that. Another thing that you will struggle with is I showed you engraving, but the, the engraving that I and that's right here. It can do this level of engraving, but it can't say do a photograph. Well, I take that back. There are some ways that you can, but they're they're a little complicated. They're not beginner friendly, right? So if you want to do things like engrave photos, again, you're going to want a laser cutter. So they are more money, however. They're harder to get and it, there's a bigger learning curve. So, so there's always levels to what we want. And your job is to figure out what you want to make right? What do you want to make or where do you want to start making things? That's really, really important because you don't have to get one machine that does all the things. It's actually fairly common for people to have different machines for different things. I love my Cricut Joy. Why would I love my Cricut Joy when I have all of these other Cricuts? This one is so easy to use. I can take it with me when I go on my trips. And anyone who follows me knows I do. I have taken this to Hawaii, taken it to San Diego. I took it to Disney. I'm trying to think of other places so that I can make things as I, like, like, as I want to, right? I love to make, I love to make cute dresses and I'll get like inspired when I'm there and I bring some iron-on vinyl with me and I make it. <laughs> it's that simple. It's fun and easy to do. So I love the joy for that. I love my maker for that. The maker is the one that usually sits right on my desk. I actually mostly use the original maker still. It's sitting right behind me all the time in my office. I'm in my studio right now, not my office. And that's what I'll, I'll do all of my test cuts on, all the things I make for myself and my family. I'm using my original maker, the one that I got in 2017. <laughs> the same very one. It still works like a champ. So there's a lot of, you know, the venture which we have right here, I'll pull out right here so you can see it. Here we go. The Venture um, is a lot bigger and it is ideal for not just big cuts, but lots of cuts. So like if you have a small business or you're doing things for a school where you're making a lot of t-shirts, something like the Venture can be really, really useful because it can shorten how much time it takes to do things, right? The more you can get onto a mat or onto, you know, one piece of smart material, the faster it goes. That is the truth. So there's a lot of different reasons to have different crickets or cricket machines. And the same reason that we have laser cutters too. We actually have like five or six of them. We love laser cutters. We use them for different projects. Okay. Um, all right. So I see some questions about our designs and our projects. So first, links to all of the free designs for all the projects I've shown are going to be listed below this video. So when this is done, I'll make a note of all the things I showed you and I'll put it below this video. So depending on when you watch this, just look in the description. And uh, if it's not there yet, because it's a Maker Academy weekend project, it will be there after November 1st, 2023. Okay, what's important about the fact that my designs are available to you, it means that you can make everything that I've shown you yourself if you want to. And I have downloadable files that allow you to do exactly that. I share thousands of free cut files and tutorials free. I said free twice, I know it doesn't matter. But the whole purpose is to eliminate that barrier of entry to help you succeed. I love to see you make these projects. And remember that many of the projects I showed you are in Maker Academy Weekend 2023. And that means they have step-by-step -step workshops that go with them. Remember to get your free ticket to Maker Academy Weekend at Maker Academy. 
ticketbook.com right here you see on the screen. And if once you have your free ticket, you'll be notified of all the free designs and the workshops and it's all starting on November 1st. I will be broadcasting live for four days right from this very desk. We're already preparing because we've got all of our projects out and we'll be teaching you all about these Cricut projects. It is going to be so much fun because we all are together sitting here chatting, answering questions. We play games, there's prizes and so just all sorts of inspiration and learning and I would love to see you there. The free ticket is only free up to the time that the event begins, however, so be sure to get a ticket while it's free. Remember, you can get it over at makeracademy.com. And I'm super excited because I'm excited too. Eliza is putting shoes on. Are you asking to see my shoes? I'm not paying attention. Such a good job as paying attention to the screen. <laughs> I do see comments about my shoes. I don't have a shoe cam on at the moment, but I can try to stand over there so you can see my shoes if you want. I'll do it real quick. <laughs> I have so many, I have to, I have to clean up. Oh, there's so many things. I'll start to stand in this corner. Can you see my shoes kind of? These are, this is, but a lot of times people will see my shoes and think I'm wearing a shoe from like two different pairs of shoes. Th these shoes come this way. They're red. One is red and one is black and they have little hearts on them. I don't know. I know that you can't really see them. They're hot chocolate shoes, but they're very, very comfortable. They're flat. They're so I can wear them all day. I have many shoes. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see what else. Oh yes, if you are in the market for a cricket, because I've told you about all of these crickets, you might be like, "Well, I'm ready to buy one," or "I want to get one for someone." So you can find links to get the crickets that you want below this video or over at, let me put the link up for you, jennifermaker.com slash witch dash cricket. That's my, my guide to what each cricket does and who I think that they're best for. I have like, a, I go into more detail on the different crickets there. So this is a really great place to look. Now, if you do get a cricket, or you have one, but haven't really learned how to use it yet. Maybe it's still sitting in the box or you took it out, but you feel intimidated. I understand. And I have a free series of classes that can help you get it all set up. It's called Cricut Kickoff and you will find it over at cricutkickoff.com. You can set up your machine with me, learn about the tools and supplies that you can use with it. And then you'll do your very first project. It is a nice, easy one from cardstock. Just like I said, it's perfect for beginners. I would love to have you join me. We'll be, you can do that anytime you want. I'll also be doing it again live right after Christmas. I do it every year on December 26th. I'd like do it again because you know, we have all these new crickets. We're going to have to have one for the Cricket Joy Extra. And I don't know if I'm going to do one for the adventure. I think, because I already have an unboxing for that. But I'm definitely doing the Cricket Joy Extra. I'm, I'm pretty sure that many of you will be getting a Cricket Joy Extra for Christmas. <laughs> I, I have either been informed that Santa is getting you one, or you told me that you're getting you one. <laughs> all right, I'm going to pause to see if anyone has any questions. Wrap up before I, I go. Thank you. I'm so happy that you hung out with me today. Did you find this helpful? Was it useful? By the way, if you want to see any other Maker Academy weekend projects that I have out, just this is a great time to ask me. I think I was only able to show you like a half a dozen, but we have many of them. And this is a big mess. <laughs> trying to move things so they're not quite so messy while I give you a chance to share any questions that you might have. Um, can you make those light box scenes with the Cricut Maker 3. Light box scenes, do you mean things like, this isn't a light box, um, like this? When you say a light box scene, I mean, it's a box, it's a star box. Basically, yes, shadow box with a, a light up shadow box you can make with all of the Cricuts. It's just size dependent on the Cricut Joys. Um, but you can make this one, this size one, on the Cricut Joy Extra and up, and a smaller one on the Cricut Joy. So if that's what you mean, yes. And this is the hanging star ornament for Cricut for Maker Academy Weekend 2023. We have three different designs, in fact, for that one. It was a good overview, awesome, thank you. I'm glad that you found that useful. 
All right, I'm looking for comments or questions. Thank you for your, uh, the wreath. Which wreath? Oh, and I meant to show you another infusible ink design. Did I even talk about infusible ink? Oh my goodness. I really skipped over infusible ink. Okay. <laughs> Cricut infusible ink. I even set out a project. Okay. So something else that you can cut with all the crickets is Cricut infusible ink. Cricut infusible ink is a special transfer paper. They also um, have it available in markers and pens and it allows you to transfer it to a compatible surface with heat and it will create a permanent, like really permanent design. So it's not like a uh, vinyl where you can like feel the edge. It's like smooth. Let me give you an example. I'm sorry I missed that. There's just so many things. So this is a stocking that we're doing for Maker Academy weekend. 2023 and this is all infusible ink and you can do this on all the crickets right and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna hide my little picture here because that's just weird and awkward there we go so many things on my desk okay so this is infusible ink isn't this cool? Don't you want to make these? <laughs> um, so you just would cut out the, the infusible ink in the different colors and you piece it together, which we show you how, and you make this. And as you can see, is it's as if the fabric is dyed because essentially it is when you use infusible ink. Isn't this neat? This is gorgeous. This will last as long as the stocking lasts. Another example here. I can't tip this over because I'm actually, this is my, what I drink out of. This is a tumbler with infusible ink on it. So this can go through the dishwasher. It can do all the things and it will not wa you know, wear off or anything like that. Um, infusible ink is really popular for um, t-shirts. Do I have a t-shirt around here? I don't, but I have made t-shirts and tote bags and pillows. I've made a dress with infusible ink, all sorts of things. So another thing, so just, so I feel bad I missed that one. I'm sure I'm gonna, like later on tonight, I'm gonna be like, oh wait, I forgot to tell them about this one thing. <laughs> but so definitely you can make really cool, you can do, sub, basically you can do sublimation with a Cricut, if you use Cricut infusible ink. If you also have a sublimation printer, uh, you can even combine the sublimation printer with your Cricut to do really cool things. That's a whole nother video though, so we're not gonna get into that. But just so you know, there's so, there's, like literally people will ask me, you know, where do I get ideas and do you ever just get tired of talking about Cricut? And the truth is, there are so many things still that I haven't made that I could make. There's just so many things. I really, there, I, I will never run out of things to make. It is surprisingly deep. It, it really, it truly is. It's kind of amazing. I think I mean, I've always crafted and made things, but my entire life, when I got my first Cricut on a fluke, I didn't even know what it could do. Like I said, I thought it was for scrapbooking and I got it for making a pattern, a paper pattern for a class I was teaching. And then I realized what it could do. And like, I just haven't, you, you cannot stop me since then. It's just, it's opened up all of the doors for me. That's all I can say. All right, let me let me check and see. I see questions about where to get some of these things. Like, I see a question about where to get the LED base that we're using in the, the engraved things. I see a question about the veneer, where to get that, and really a bunch of these things. I get almost all of my craft supplies from Amazon. This link I'm gonna share with you, this link has links to shopping lists that I have made for all my projects. So you can see exactly what I used. Um, I even put the machines that they work with. I'll put them right in there. Just, you know, I don't actually think you're gonna buy that machine because you probably have it already, but I'll put the machines, the mats, everything that I need or that I think you might need into my shopping list. So this link right here, and it's link.jennifermaker.com slash Amazon slash weekend supplies gives you all the shopping lists for Maker Academy weekend. But if you also click on like Jennifer Maker, there's like, it's like my, it's like my little page on Amazon. It gives you hundreds of shopping lists for projects. I think there's over 300 of them now. It's really quite a few. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. 
I'm looking for, can you use infusible ink in the Joy? You totally can. All of the crickets, including the original Joy, can do, can cut infusible ink and use infusible ink pens and markers. So I don't think I have any examples of those sitting on my desk, but you can make really cute mugs and tote bags with infusible ink pens and markers, t-shirts too. And it's a sublimation product. So you just use heat to transfer it to your surface. You know, the surface has to be the right kind of surface. That's a little bit more than we're gonna cover in this class, but you can transfer it, but your Cricut can make it and then the design and then you can transfer it. So it's pretty cool. Susan wants to know about my chair. My chair came from Amazon. <laughs> I get a lot of things from Amazon. I have been shopping on Amazon since before most people have heard of Amazon. So I got this on Amazon. I'll try to add it to, um, when I get home, I'll try to add it to my favorite things shopping list. I have a shopping list where I kind of just put things as people ask me and I'll try to put it in there. It's a very comfy chair. I really like it. Uh, let's see here. Um, do you have to use a certain type of tumblers for infusible ink? Yes, you want to use tumblers that say that they're either sublimation friendly or infusible ink friendly. That means, can't quite reach it. That means that they'll have a coating on them that will accept the ink, right? So this tumbler, which I got from Amazon, <laughs> I'm going to be a broken record there. Um, this is a mason jar sublimation tumbler. I believe PYD Life makes this and it has a coating on it. So it'll accept both infusible ink and sublimation because infusible ink is sublimation ink, right? It's just the kind that you cut on a cutting machine. So yeah. You, you, it's not going to be just whatever tumbler or whatever mug. It's going to be one that has a special coating that will accept the ink. Um, there's a lot of questions here. Please help one another out in the chat if you know the answers to each other, to these questions. Um, cause I would love to, I want, I want everyone to get their answer. Uh, let's see. Do I have classes on all this? Yes. So um, everything I teach, there's going to either be a video or a tutorial or a workshop or something. I am not the kind of person who just says, hey, look what I made and not tell you how to make it. So everything, there's like hours and hours and hours and hours put into these things to teach you how to do them. And you will find everything. All of my tutorials are going to be at jennifermaker.com. So you can go there. There's a search over on the side. You can put in the thing you're looking for. Or you can just go search in Google. Same thing. And it'll take you to the tutorial. Not all of my tutorials have videos. But at this point, most do. <laughs> in the, my very first year, I was camera shy. And I didn't want to make videos. But I got over it. And now, basically, we, we make a video for almost everything we do now. Okay. Uh, Weight of cardstock. So we're talking, so I see some questions about cardstock. So whenever I do a tutorial, I also tell you exactly which weight of cardstock. So cardstock comes in different weights, which means it's thickness, right? So for example, this project here, we like to use a lower weight cardstock, like 65 pound cardstock, so that the light can shine through the layers and you get that beautiful shadow box effect. In other projects, um, I'm looking for one like this one. This is made of cardstock, but this is a foil cardstock, right? It's actually, I think it's probably poster board, foil poster board, if I'm correct. Poster board's a little heavier, right? So we always tell you exactly what you can use. Sometimes you can use multiple things and we'll tell you if there's a range of weights or different types of things. So always check my tutorials. They will always tell you. And even though Maker Academy Weekend hasn't started yet, all of the supply lists, material list that tell you how many sheets of paper you need, whether you need glue or not. It's all available on my blog at jennifermaker.com. When you get your free ticket, I'm going to put that link up again. Put this one up here away. When you get your free ticket, remember you're going to get uh, the weekend guide. And the weekend guide tells you how it works. It tells you exactly which projects you can make on which machines. So if you already have a Cricut, you'll know which ones you can make. If you're thinking about getting a Cricut, that'll inform your decisions so that you can make the projects you want. And also you'll get links to our schedule, 
are the links to all the projects, supply lists, so you can start planning right now, um, and all that good stuff. It's awesome. Plus, we're doing giveaways. We are giving away, in fact, over $12,000 in prizes. So there's a bunch of crickets that we're giving away, um, a sublimation printer or two, heat presses, lots of wonderful um, classes and eBooks, things like our books here. Cricut Coach Playbook and HTV Cookbook, which gives you all of the temperatures and pressures you need. Uh, many of my friends, our guest teachers, have wonderful courses and um, SVG bundles to give away as well. And this thing, the dream box. Some lucky person is gonna want win a dream box. So this is one of our giveaways this year. Not this one, this one's mine, you get your own. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I would never give away my dream box. I love it, but we're going to give away dream box this year. So, but you have to have a free ticket to get to be to qualified. So get, definitely get your, your free ticket. Let's see a question from Deborah. When you have your barn built, will you have in-person retreats? I don't know yet. It would be cool. I guess we'll have to see, right? But maybe it would be neat, huh? Okay, cool. All right. I think I think. Check in my list to see if anything else. Um, I see a couple questions. So, uh, okay. So the links to the supply list are right up here. So if you need something that I mentioned for Maker Academy Weekend, this will take you to each of the supply lists uh, that's over on Amazon. Your The free ticket link is down here. I guess I, guess I said something to Google. <laughs> it's funny. We have a, a Google Home device over there. I like to listen to music on it. Okay, sorry. Anyways, I didn't know if you guys could hear that. It, it, it heard me say something. All right. Um, let's see. Maker Academy Weekend starts November 1st. Big kickoff party. I hope you will all join me. It's going to be so much fun. And we're, gonna, we're giving away prizes already. Many of the big prizes will be given away during Maker Academy Weekend. You need a free ticket to qualify for the giveaway. Um, Maker Academy Weekend videos will be available. I will be broadcasting everything live. Now, the workshops are pre recorded, so it's less rambly. <laughs> and um, I won't be forgetting things like infusible ink when I do this because we have carefully created those. But I still I go over all of the tools and supplies with you, and then I play the assembly video, and then I answer your questions. And we do that for all of the workshops that we created, and those will begin on the morning of November 2nd. And I will send out emails. And if you are subscribed to our text notification service, I will send you a text too, so that you don't forget to come. Um, uh, and when you get your free ticket, there is at the bottom, there is a note about how to get, or somewhere in the email, there's a note about how to get onto our text notification service. I used it today, in fact, to invite those of you who already had your free ticket and, and opted into that to come. Did anybody get my text? I'm curious, did it work? We don't like send out a lot of text, so that's like a new thing I'm experimenting with. If you got my text, tell me in the chat so I know if it worked. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Uh, there's a question. Will you be able to, oh, this is a question that um, Jen from my team passed me. Will you be able to watch Maker Academy weekend videos if you miss the live? Yes, you'll have 24 hours to watch the videos for free. So we will send out emails. There'll be like a, a link that you can just watch the replay right there. Um, if you want to watch beyond the 24 hours, you'll want to get a VIP pass. A VIP pass allows you to actually get all of the projects right now. You don't have to wait till then. Um, and you get all the assembly videos right now and you keep access to them indefinitely, you know, forever. <laughs> lifetime, the lifetime of, of it. So um, for example, people who did Maker Academy Weekend two years ago are still using those videos to make awesome things. So you can learn about the VIP pass. Um, I send you an email about it when you get your free ticket, but you can also go to makeracademy.com slash VIP if you want to start now or you want to watch later on. So, and that's just for Maker Academy Weekend projects. There are other projects I showed you today that are outside of that. And those tutorials are probably right here on my channel for you. All right, awesome. So yes, I saw some comments about, you got my text. 
Yes, it worked. Awesome. Good. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am doing these videos to like warm up for our four day long broadcast. I think I mentioned that to you a couple weeks ago. So you, I'm coming, I'm going to do some live videos next weekend too. We're going to talk about, we're going to go into a bit more depth on what Cricut, you know, the Cricut and sublimation printers. And then we're also going to talk about the materials that you're going to need for the weekend project. So a little bit deeper into those things. And that will be next weekend. So I will send out emails and texts if you're on my text notification service. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Let me put this away, actually, because I want to edit the video. So it can, it, this video will stay on my channel, like I said. Um, I'll put this one away, too. There we go. Um, okay. Yeah, because what I'll do is I'll edit out all the extra stuff and like maybe some of the extra talking and the awkwardness. <laughs> and, uh, we'll, and, then, and then eventually, it'll even just stay beyond this. When Maker Academy Weekend is over, I'll actually just remove those little parts, too. And then we have a video here that we can always refer to about the crickets and what the crickets can make. I will promise to leave the infusible ink part in. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope that this inspired you to make something. If it did, I really, really want you to show me what you've made. Please come share a photo of it in my Cricut Crafters and Makers group. You can see the link for it right down here, jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. I love to see your photos. I, 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 I truly, truly do. It, it, it is the proof that it is the, the validation that I need that I'm making a difference for you because you made it, you like it enough to share a photo of it. And so this makes me feel really good. It's the thing that keeps me moving forward is knowing that I'm making a difference for you. So come share your photos with me. I love to see what you create. All right. Well, thank you to everybody for being here and everyone who helped me out. I really appreciate you. Until next time, which will be next weekend, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.